Hello children. Today we are in the second part of data handling and we are going to discuss about circle charts. So let's know what are circle charts. A circle chart is a form of data representation in which a circle is divided into sections where each section represents a part of a whole. It is used to show the relative sizes of information. In the figure, I have represented circular charts in different forms. In the first one, as you can see, the circular chart is divided into two parts and the colored part represents half of the circular chart. Here the chart is divided into four parts and the colored part represents one by fourth part of the whole circular chart. Here in the third one the chart is divided into three parts and the colored part represents one third of the chart. Whereas here, though the chart is divided into four parts, but there are three parts which are colored. So if you are asked what part of the chart is colored, then you will answer it is three fourth. Let's see an example. In the circular chart given beside, it represents the various types of books liked by the students of class 4. So the circular chart is divided into 4 parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. So if I ask you what part of story books, how many students of the class like story books then your answer will be half of the class. What part of the class likes comics books? Then it is one fourth. And the poem and puzzle books are liked equally by the part of the class that is one eighth. Let's see an example from your own book exercise 14.2 question number 1. The question reads Alex collected information from his friends on the cartoon characters from Chota Bhim. They liked the most and he represented it in a circle chart. Now let's see some related questions. Is there any character that is liked more than the others? As you can see in this chart, the circle is divided equally into three parts. So the answer will be no. Question number B. Each character was liked by what fraction of his friends? So because the chart is divided into three parts and if we talk about each of the character then each character represents a fraction 1 by 3. If Alex has 45 friends then how many of them liked each character? So because each character is liked by a fraction of 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 into 45 is equal to 15 friend. Let's see the next question given in your book. There are 600 students in a school. The school organizes different club activities on Saturdays. Even you people have your Friday activities right children so the circle chart 
here shows the popularity of each activity. So there are three activities in the school that is music, sports and robotics. So if as you can see sports is the most liked activity and it is liked by half of the students. Then is music and it is followed by robotics. So let us see the questions. Which club activity is the most popular among the students? So the answer will be sports. How many students have chosen sports? So in the question the number of students is 600 and sports is half of the students. So it is 1 by 2 into 600 that is 300 students like sports. If 1 by 8 have chosen robotics, how many students are there in the robotics club? So it is 1 by 8 into 600 that is 75 students. So here we come to an end but there is one more question in your exercise that is question number 3 where you need to mark certain statements true or false based on the circular chart given there. So I hope you all can do it with the knowledge that you gain from this exercise or this video. So all the best children from the next class we begin your revisions. Take care. Bye bye.